Good morning. Happy Saturday. What a beautiful morning to be alive. I'm so happy this morning. I've had so many uh, marvelous things happen um, in such a short time this morning. I'm going to cut out a little glare. <laughs> Hello, Debbie. <laughs> and um, yeah, so anyway, this morning has been a, uh, <laughs> a real marvel. My life is a total cartoon, I swear to God, you know. Um, I make myself so available to people. Um, and uh, I really love people, I do. Um, when they recognize their cartoons, too, it just makes it that much more fun. <laughs> now, I have subscribers uh, on my YouTube channel. Um, that reach out to me and they're not even on Facebook. I have, you know, so many people out there that, uh, you know, reach out to me. And I recently, about a month ago or so, uh, this really delightful young lady, uh, she's 18, lives in India. And uh, she's reached out to me so many times and uh, she doesn't really speak English. And so she has a hard time uh, you know, we do the best we can. She's really adorable. And I have all these friends in India. So this very morning, it was just hilarious. Three of them <laughs> all came in on the personal messenger. Uh, she being one. Uh, this other uh, really dear, that I love, uh, Nahal. He is just awesome. He's 20 years old. I and mean, it's just a beautiful bright light and this other new friend just uh, within the last few days so I'm, I'm running three conversations at the same time and when I was talking to uh, Neha this the young lady um, yesterday um, I said well I have I have a lot of friends in India uh, would you like to meet some of them and she, yeah, okay, okay. So I, um, I was chatting with her again this morning, and uh, Nihal. And I said, Nihal, <laughs> how would you like to meet a young lady in India uh, that is really sweet? She's really adorable. And, um, you know, I said, you speak Hindi? You know, yeah. I said, well... She's watched some of my videos and, you know, we chat and she really uh, has trouble understanding me. Would you like to meet her and, you know, be, uh, you know, kind of a guy? And he was like, oh, yeah, you know. So anyway, I, uh, I'm not a matchmaker or anything. That's not my job. But I did connect them and they're both real excited. You know, he's 20, she's 18. <laughs> <laughs> They're both so sweet. So, uh, yeah, it's just been uh, a morning of uh, real blessings, you know, real cartoons. And um, I have been, uh, <laughs> I've been put to the test. Uh, I mean, over the last week, I've had so many uh, amazing blessings. They just, uh, they just pour in. And I'm so grateful for that. And... You know, one of the um, one of the things that has uh, happened <laughs> when I submitted uh, the Oran Oracles, uh, the book, to uh, the publisher Lulu uh, Publishing. Uh, I created a team, and uh, so I have a coordinator. And she said, "Well, I need the file." And I said, "Well, I sent the file." Uh, to, uh, you know, my first contact there, um, Burton. And she said, okay, and she got it, and she goes, well, um, it's a PDF, um, and we need a, uh, we have to have it in Word. And I said, oh, okay, you know, so I opened it up, and 
I realized um, that I did this on my uh, other laptop uh, way back in October. I spent days, <laughs> days and days copying all my hard copy from the um, original notebooks and uh, processed it. Now, I thought I had done it in Word. Well, apparently that wasn't the case. So uh, she tells me that um, in order for them to work with it, it has to be in like a Word, uh, Microsoft Word. And I was like, okay. So anyway, uh, I had such a busy time over these last two weeks, I really couldn't address it much. So I finally pulled out my old laptop and I pulled up the files. Well, as it appears, <laughs> I did it in a, something called Apache uh, Office or something like that, which isn't transferable. So I thought, okay, now what? And uh, hey, hello. Hey, Gerald. <laughs> Hi, Mike, Mark, Sharon. Thanks all for joining me. This is going to be fun this morning. So anyway, um, you know, it appeared to be you know, what uh, some would deem a problem. Uh, I don't look at problems so much. I mean, it's not that I ignore problems, that I don't face problems, but I always consider them opportunities. You know, there, you know, there's a solution. So I focus on solutions. So I just breathe and let it be. Well, last night, I have nothing to and it was pretty, uh, I mean, I was, actually, this all appeared to me like around midnight or something. And I, I mean, I was so jazzed about how this appeared that I was actually like even thinking about just getting up, starting the generator and getting started because I was just like, ding, a solution. <laughs> and what I, um, what I realized, um, is that I've written, um, you know, the original had 104 poems. It's really a journey. Um, but since then, I've written, I don't know, maybe another, I don't know, I'm not even sure, maybe 40 or 50 other poems. And so what appeared to me is that I am going to start over because um, it's the healthiest choice. I really... Uh, I realized that this way I can just really literally start from the beginning, you know, and do my um, intro, my, you know, my, like Monica, she'd already produced the forward, um, but I can put it in context that is uh, in totally proper form. And what I'm going to do is include every poem I've written. Uh, on the subject. So the book's going to get bigger. And um, because at first I thought, well, you know, there's book one or make book two. And I, and the more I thought about it, I thought, no, that, that, you know, why? You know, why make two books? Because lately I've been writing a lot more on other um, inspiration. And um, that's what's, that's what's channeling. Uh, that's what's flowing, and that's what I'm comfortable uh, doing. And so, you know, I figured, well, you know, I mean, uh, there's probably 150 poems. <laughs> and that, I think that tells a story. I mean, I don't know how many more poems are in me. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm excited about that. So tomorrow, um, I'm going to just start over. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the whole book in its entirety in a uh, uh, in form um, and uh, just uh, do it over. And that way uh, I can revisit uh, all the poems because I don't really reread my poems. Um, I just write them and I publish them and uh, share them and all that stuff. But I didn't. You know, it's just like my videos. I don't. I, you know, I watch them once, so uh, you know, I understand how well they. Um, read for other people. But um, that's pretty much it. That's how I roll. <laughs> Every moment is just a new moment. 
So, you know, this morning is just another example of how uh, allowing, trusting, breathing, and uh, just being uh, is the um, way to solution. You know, it's always there. Uh, And if we focus only on our problems, um, finding solutions, um, we got, you know, we got to be prepared. And if it's just a redundancy of my problem, my problem, my problem, blah, 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 blah. You know, um, the problems don't go away. What we resist persists. But on the other hand, uh, we can't ignore the problem. Uh, Solutions are there uh, when we uh, trust them and allow them uh, to appear. And that takes patience, takes focus. Um, everybody has problems, man. We all make mistakes. That's, you know, this is uh, life. You know, this is how we um, learn. And all lessons are repeated until learned on schoolhouse earth. <laughs> That's just how it rolls. Now, I've been making other decisions um, also. Uh, inspiration. Um, like I monetized my uh, YouTube channel um, back in like uh, November. Now, you know, as a result of monetizing it, um, <laughs> it's, it, you know, I mean, I think I've uh, maybe produced uh, a total wall of like four bucks or something, five bucks. And some of them were pretty funny because they put like drug commercials on my <laughs> on uh, urine therapy uh, videos, which I I just thought was perfectly ironic. I thought that was crazy. But yesterday, I just decided that it's pointless. I don't want uh, that energy field in my um, messaging. So I excused myself from the monetiz- uh, monetizing uh, of my channel and my videos and. Uh, I felt good. It's just an energy shift. And so um, another thing I've noticed, like, you know, there's other formats, and I haven't used them much. Um, So, um, oh, precise, hey, man, how you doing, Doc? Oh, you got your uh, blue blockers. He's got his new glasses. Uh, I love my blue blockers. Uh, Anyway, I I opened up a uh, Instagram account. And I don't use it much. I've, I've maybe done, I don't know, maybe three. <laughs> it's just, you know, there's too much. It's way too much. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I uh, got another Instagram this morning. I opened it up, and I realized there's like hundreds of people that, you know, are uh, like following me. Now, I don't know who they're following because, like I said, I only did like uh, – three uh, different Instagrams. So I'm, I'm posing this, and the reason I'm bringing it up is I want to uh, just kind of see what other people's experience is and whether they think uh, it's just kind of a healthy idea for me, you know, if I should spend more time making these little ditties on an Instagram, you know, and uh, I don't know, it's just it, doing the Facebook and the two pages and uh, all the groups and making the videos and stuff on you know, it's a lot of work. I, I, I you know, work a lot, and uh, and I do the best I can. You know, as I uh, take every day and uh, allow the process, and you know, make it up as I go along, <laughs> like everybody does. And um, you know, so anybody has any uh, thoughts or uh, opinions about this Instagram thing, I'm open to, uh, you know, what anybody. Um, experiences if they think it might be something I should uh, pay attention to or not I don't know um, now I've had some uh, other great things happen this week now uh, right now <laughs> I'm soaking my feet <laughs> in my rubber boots and uh, Rosalind uh, is the one who turned me on to this idea last year and uh, it feels really good folks You know, I put on my rubber boots, and I put on a thick pair of socks, and I heat up some urine, and I pour it in there, and, uh, man, my feet are just sitting there soaking. Now, uh, I had uh, Rosalind and Linda Maris and uh, Nancy Fox uh, this last week on the uh, organic gardening uh, with urine uh, program we did, which was awesome. 
They're so cool, those ladies. I love them so dearly. Anyway, um, Linda uh, mentioned another idea, which yesterday, um, now I haven't done it yet, but I went and got the stuff necessary. So what she recommended is getting uh, a pair of, uh, you know, small gloves, uh, something that uh, fits snug, and uh, they do. I got two pairs for $1.50. <laughs> that was a good deal. And then I paid a little more for these, but they're super industrial. Uh, so they're uh, big, uh, so I can fit the uh, uh, the other little gloves inside and start soaking my hands <laughs> in my rubbers. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I haven't done this yet. And so... Uh, Hey, Thomas, welcome, and uh, nice to see you. <laughs> Thanks, y'all, for joining me. You know, uh, this Saturday morning thing is just fun for me. You know, it's uh, just letting it be and allowing for anybody to appear and ask questions if you choose. Otherwise, I'm just going to, you know, diddy. <laughs> I just diddle along. So uh, another thing, um, now, <clears throat> Way before my hand surgery, before I had, uh, you know, all the arthritic pain, before I started the urine therapy a year ago, my hands were a mess. They were just a mess because I pushed them way over the edge, and they were really decrepit. I, it was really difficult just to even open a, a, a water bottle and stuff. So prior to all that, um, I had a golf membership for nearly two years and I really love playing golf and it's not about the culture and you know all of that jazz no it's totally zen to me I'd go out at early in the mornings uh, I'd be there at the uh, break of day um, and uh, only ones out there were like groundskeepers and there was one or two other old guys that uh, were out there with we, you know we kind of it was like our own private world you know with the deer and the rabbits and the birds, and the sun coming up. I mean, it was really a remarkable uh, Zen uh, meditation for me. Now, I did this every day. It didn't matter, rain or shine. The only time it didn't play is if it was, like, really torrential, you know, or the course was closed because of uh, snow or frost, which happened at times. But once my hands went south, I just had to stop. I had to give up my membership because I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything, quite frankly. I, I just, my hands were a mess. So, um, after uh, my uh, urine therapy introduction, after uh, my hand surgery, which I, well, I don't have regrets, but it, I wouldn't have had that surgery. I really honestly wouldn't if I had known what I really knew now. But that's the way it rolls. Um, but, um, in the last, uh, well, since uh, just before I left Washington, um, I played one round of golf. On the, and the uh, um, place where I was a member was very sweet. They let me play for free, um, you know, as a compliment, and I appreciate that. So um, by the time I was down to 18, I had pretty sore hands. Uh, my thumbs were hurting. My grip was uh, loose. You know, it just wasn't. Uh, but the gratification, just being out is always uh, wonderful. So um, since then, so I played uh, one round in September before I left Washington. I played one round in um, Reno before the uh, Water of Life Symposium. And I played one round in Ojai, California, up in Ojai Valley, which was great. So I only had played three rounds of golf. And when I was in Texas visiting um, with Shane and uh, Lana, I, he has all this acreage, and we were hitting golf balls <laughs> out in the front yard. It was pretty cool. I could hit my longest drive, and it wouldn't leave the yard, so that was fun. And we'd just walk around, talk, and pick up our golf balls, find them. We'd just shoot a bunch and go look for them, and that was great. But lately, I've been thinking about um, been thinking about golf a lot, and, uh, and they, because I really enjoy it. So the other day, I was out. Um, in the hood, and there's a golf course that's only about five miles away, and um, so I pulled in. I just figured oh, I'm going to find out, you know, what the fees are, whatever. 
So um, as I did this, uh, there was nobody there. Uh, so I was going to uh, just ring the phone uh, and ask questions. Well, anyway, the guy pulls up. And anyway, this guy, Kurt, who owns the uh, golf course, he's really cool. Uh, we start talking. We ended up talking for, oh, God, a good half hour. And, uh, you know, I told him all about urine therapy because I just kind of told him the same story I told you about my hands and how I cured all these things with urine therapy. And uh, he goes, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I said, yeah, it makes a lot of sense when you get past the, you know, the indoctrination of what we've been told, how it's all just waste and blah, blah. So um, he let me play uh, without uh, charging me that day. Um, because it was at the end of the month, I was uh, low on funds, and I told them my money doesn't come in until the beginning of the month. And so it was all good. And I was out there playing. So I'm coming up around the ninth hole, and he just come back. Uh, you know, he lives there. He has a, uh, the whole thing. It's a nine hole, and you do two rounds. And he comes pulling up in his little cart, and he goes, uh, yeah, man, I just watched, uh, I just watched uh, one of your videos. <laughs> <laughs> he had already started the process, man. He even told me, you know, we ended up talking again for about a half an hour before I teed off on the ninth hole. And uh, he even said, uh, he asked his girlfriend, he, she, he said, uh, you know, hey, I just got introduced to this idea of urine therapy, and it all makes sense to me. And, um, if I start doing this, are you going to still like, uh, like me? <laughs> Oh, no, that was awesome, you know. So anyway, at the end of the round, we started talking some more, and he uh, said, uh, you know, we were talking in the clubhouse, and, you know, I asked him, I said, you have a men's club, or, you know, what, what goes on? He says, yeah, you know, there's some, because uh, I said, it looks like you have some regulars out here. And so he told me about, um, yeah, we have a membership and stuff. And I said, oh, really? So what does membership look like? And he says, uh, oh, it's like $300, uh, $330 or something like that a year. And I said, well, what does that include? And he says, well, unlimited golf and all that. And I said, okay, cool. I said, uh, I'm on kind of a tight budget because, uh, you know, on a uh, disability stipend. Uh, would it be possible for me to pay by the month? He said, yeah, we can work that out. <laughs> so <clears throat> it looks like uh, I get to uh, get back to my regular golfing, and I'm excited about that. Now, now here's the point I want to make. Like two months ago, uh, when I uh, first arrived here in Orange Town, my hands were still um, pretty sensitive, um, tender, sore. But I noticed um, when I played this round the other day, that I didn't lose my grip. Uh, my hands are getting stronger. Everything's changing. So the urine therapy is working. <laughs> it's working really well. Now, I got a call uh, from another subscriber uh, last night. He, um, he just started urine therapy about six weeks ago. He's out in uh, North Carolina somewhere. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he's like, uh, he runs security or something at a hospital. And so, anyway, he sent me a message and uh, with his phone number. He said, you know, any chance we can talk? I said, sure. You know, so I called him. And uh, we ended up on the phone for, oh, God, about maybe an hour or something last night. And he was giving me all his story and background. And he's telling me how he uh, sits in his little office there because uh, he just monitors, monitors and whatnot. And he sits there and loops his pee <laughs> and watches videos and he said he just loves my videos you know I, I mean and I'm I'm humbled by all this I really am I'm just honored that uh, you know people uh, even take time to watch you know I consider everybody's time as important and valuable and so the you know people take time to uh, watch mine I, I'm honored and so anyway it, it's really amazing to me how uh, many, um, how many people? I mean, it's it's in the hundreds now that have told me that they all started drinking their pee just because they saw one of my videos. And, wow, it's pretty out there. And uh, speaking of golf, hey Heidi, <laughs> I still dream the day we're gonna play golf together. 
my dear friend down in Mexico. And uh, she loves golf, too. You know, golf is, you know, people have a lot of ideas or attitudes about golf. And, you know, to me, it's like I said, it's not about the culture. Uh, I don't, you know, all that pretentious shit. I don't care for it. I never did. But it's a real Zen meditation to me. And it's one of the hardest games in the world. People don't realize you hit a little ball, you hit it with four strokes, and you're putting it in a little cup a couple hundred yards away. It takes a lot of focus, a lot of concentration. It is very Zen because it's all about being in the moment. You can't think about the last shot. You don't worry about the next shot. You just stay present, stay grounded, be in the moment, breathe, and uh, focus on uh, the ball. And... Uh, Take it one shot at a time. That's what I do. So, um, yeah. So things are just uh, happening. I, you know, every day, you know, I just consider my life uh, richly blessed. Now, I got into a lot. There was a uh, uh, something that came up uh, in the um, in the groups yesterday. It was all about the Ormus, and so it turned into quite a dialogue with a lot of people. It was pretty cool, and so. Uh, you know, I, I I I have my bottle here. I want to show you. You know, that's uh, boom. That's all Oramus in the bottom. So people ask me, you know, well, you know, what are you doing? I got 28 gallons <laughs> that I'm working on aging right now, and I'm really excited because I'm going to score a free bathtub. I know it's going to appear when it's supposed to. And uh, thank you, Carol. Uh, she says I'm very pleasant to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, when I get this bathtub, which I know I'm going to score, it's just going to appear in right time. You know, like uh, it's still cold here, you know, so I'm not uh, tripping on it. I just keep uh, storing and aging my urine. But, you know, I know people do remodels and stuff. So when the time comes, I know I'm going to score a bunch of free lumber. I'm going to score a free bathtub. I'll just go pick it up, come back here, build myself a nice platform deck and uh, put the tub on it, and I'm going to fill it completely with my pee. <laughs> and so what I'm going to do is get it like a uh, bubble wrap, um, you know, and do a cutout so that I can protect it and keep debris from getting into it and find a nice sunny spot on the property because there's lots of trees here. So I'm going to have to find a spot that um, gets a lot of sunshine so I can uh, photo. Hey, look, there's Baba G. <laughs> and um, so I can photosynthesize it every day and, um, and actually heat it um, naturally. So I'm excited about that. So back to the Ormus, people are asking, so um, what, are you, what are you gonna do with all that Ormus? Well, uh, when the time gets to where I'm putting all of that in, I'm going to get it down to the bottom of each, you know. Uh, I'm going to be careful about pouring it all out. I'm going to take all of those uh, bottles and um, Ormus, and I'm going to collect them. And then I'm going to uh, rinse them three times with urine, which is the uh, uh, fresh urine, which is the recommended procedure on uh uh, cleaning and rinsing Ormus. And um, I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I told somebody last night, I said, uh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it all, I'm going to collect it all, get it all together, and uh, I am going to treat it like the gold it is. Maybe I'll just uh, start a whole new cryptocurrency. <laughs> gold Ormus. What do you think about that idea? <laughs> yeah, the gold enormous uh, crypto coin. Wouldn't that be something? Huh? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I got plans for all my pee. You know, I, I'm a pee factory. I did, uh, geez, I mean, it, it, you know, I've peed like so many times. I, I filled a half gallon just in the night. I've already looped uh, a couple of times already this morning. You know, I got this one going right now. This is like my uh, third loop. And, uh, man, I don't know, pee just runs through me like crazy. I mean, it just like people that have these bladders that they can hold this stuff forever, it's like beyond me. I just, uh, you know, and it's, it's not my prostate. I don't need to talk to my doctor. I don't need to do any of that shit. 
I know what's going on. I'm a pee factory. <laughs> that's what I am. And that's why I drink it, collect it, honor it, bless it, love it. Cheers to that. Now, I have um, somebody I really adore. And uh, we talk a lot. It's been really charming. And uh, so I was mentioning this to uh, uh, John, this um, security guard. And I said, yeah, you know, I've been celibate and single for like 10 years. I had a real sex addiction problem. I needed to heal that addiction like so many others. And I didn't realize it at the time. It's just how it appeared. And uh, so, um, you know, that's all... Uh, I had to I had to get rid of my stuff you know I realized that I had a lot of stuff that um, that's why I fucked up so many relationships I was a serial monogamist you know I had three different marriages and divorces and raised kids and, you know really literally hundreds of girlfriends in my life and people I lived with so um, it was pretty uh, narrow um, very uh, you know it's about sex a lot you know, a lot of infatuation um, and being impetuous um, rather than uh, grounded, centered, and understanding and really appreciating uh, the value of a quality relationship. I just kind of missed a lot of that. So I changed, you know, and I calmed down. And uh, with that, um, I just kept waiting uh, with patience, knowing um, that either I was going to create something in my life that was um, perfectly appropriate and uh, miraculous in form, or I'd just remain uh, single, which I'm happy. Uh, I'm perfectly happy, you know, and I'm not full of angst. But <laughs> something's happening, you know, and uh, I always felt that, um, you know, when uh, when it appeared, I would recognize it, they'd recognize it, and we'd just recognize it. And uh seems that's what's happened. <clears throat> so, <laughs> back to John. I was mentioning this to John last night, because he was telling me he's been married to the same woman for all these years, and they're like polar opposites, 180 degrees, and they just, it's not happening. And uh, so he said, dude, you should marry this girl. And, you know, instead of having, the, like, champagne, you know, have, an, have a urine uh, fountain. <laughs> I said, man, that is funny as hell. That's a great idea. <laughs> you know, with a, you know, having all the little boys pissing in the fountain or whatever and have people, like, filling champagne or, you know, with urine. I thought, man, what a fucking great idea that is. <laughs> crack me up <laughs> and so uh, yeah you know it's all fun you know um, it's all cartoons <laughs> but you know I have no angst um, I'm not uh, you know I'm just patient you know I allow it every day and it works you know life about always unfolds and presents itself um, always in due course now uh, I'm going to change, uh, I'm changing um, <laughs> some of my formatting. And I realized, like, I made a, uh, uh, I made uh, episode 22 of the Orin Oracle, which I, um, was yesterday, I put it up. Um, no, Thursday, I put it up. And um, I realized I used to make these every single day when I was, uh, you know, producing the We Do Speak series and then into We Do Wanders and, you know, and I now when I look back and realize how much uh, time I spent to uh, create um, and render and upload and distribute and all that stuff, I've got thousands, really thousands and thousands of hours invested in uh, in all of that, and it's all been fine. You know, I just I'm not making anything of that. That's just uh, when I look back and reflect, I realize, wow. You know, it's been quite a uh, thing. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm going to do the live shows. Um, that's Tuesdays, unless uh, for some reason, a special uh, reason, I'll make a change like I did with Eric Cassano because uh, 
that's the way it works. Um, and even this uh, Tuesday, just a note, I have Stephen Williams, the uh, producer and director of uh, Urine 8, uh, the documentary film that is uh, sweeping awards now. He's like collecting tons of awards and uh, acknowledgments and, you know, he's really on a roll. So I'm so jazzed uh, to have uh, Stephen as a guest on the uh, Oran Oracle Live show. Now, um, I normally do that at noon. Uh, but this uh, next Tuesday, I'm going to broadcast it three because Stephen and I were talking yesterday. And uh, if I go on at noon, that means he has he's in Melbourne, Australia. So it would mean that he would need to be up at four in the morning to do the interview or something. I said, no problem, man. You know, so we're going to do it uh, three hours later um, and that'll make it more like 8 a.m. or whatever his time. And so, uh, again, it's just an accom uh, accommodation. So that live show coming Tuesday will be at 3 p.m., not 12 noon, uh, Central Standard Time, just so you know. And then um, I, have, um, I have Leah Sampson coming up uh, the week after that, and she is a pretty remarkable story. She goes by white, uh, uh, white calf buffalo woman. And she's up in Canada, and uh, she had these uh, excessive burns from a, uh, um, and they were first and second degree burns on a good 15, 20% of her body. Uh, she was doing a, a sweat lodge, you know, a ceremonial thing. And uh, somehow the water, something got tipped, um, and there was this uh, steam, steam flash. She got steam burned. And, and re really severely. So uh, she's done an amazing amount of healing um, with uh, the urine therapy. Uh, she's really a remarkable woman. So I look forward to having Leah. That's in uh, the week after next. And then um, after that, it's going to be Jordan Blakey, who is the uh, creator and administrator for uh, one of the urine groups that's uh, called Urine Magic. And uh, he's pretty interesting. He's done a lot of uh, experimentation with uh, uh, kombucha and doing uh, uh, using urine. And uh, he's going to bring a, a pretty interesting uh, subject to the table. So I'm real excited about the uh, the live shows. They've been going really um, very well. You know, I, I just appreciate all the guests, the people that uh, you know are accepting the invitation to come on. And uh, I'm really honored by that. And uh, so what I, the point of all this is that I'm going to narrow my uh, scope down to three shows a week. Um, I'm going to do the live one on uh, Tuesdays. I'm going to do this one because I like Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to produce one um, or an Oracle um, uh, show, which is a, uh, yeah, the one I did uh Thursday that I produced. Um, it was like just about 29 minutes long. And so from um, the time uh, that I took to shoot it and then uh, create it on the timeline and put in all the music and memes and get it all set up and then render it and then upload it and then get it distributed. It was almost 10 hours uh, just for that uh, 28, 29 minutes. So it's just what so. So I'm going to limit to, um, I'm going to do uh, just one a week. Um, and I've decided to uh, make them a little more animated as well, you know, just do different, uh, um, different adventures. Uh, the last couple ones I did was the another wash day miracle and one I did this week was, you know, people are always like, well, what do you do, you know? <laughs> so, you know, I'm just going to allow uh, whatever appears and, uh, you know, kind of roll with that. And, you know, certainly my focus and central theme is always urine therapy because, well, you know, it changed my life. Um, I tell people it's the most important information I have ever, ever um, received, ever. I mean, it, it, I, I just, I love urine therapy, man. It's awesome. And, uh, 
you know, aging it. it it's the dope, man. Like, uh, I've showed this before, but I'll show it again. This is my, uh, you know, um, I use this uh, as a uh, spritzer uh, to do my body rubs and whatnot. And uh, it spritzes on, it rubs in really good, and it feels like silk. That's uh, right there. It's some of my oldest. It's over 11 months old, that uh, particular batch. And, um, you know, I live in a little trailer. I live in a 31-foot trailer. I don't have a uh, real bathroom. We don't have a water hookup. We have to bring in all our water, gas, and uh, propane and everything, you know, because we're, you know, it's off the grid. So <clears throat> I have been here... Um, since early December, so two months, a little over two months. Now, the last actual um, bath, you know, where I actually, like, was in a bath or a shower was in um, <clears throat> um, a month ago. And um, it's not a problem. I don't stink. I'm not dirty. You know, I do my body rubs. I mean, I can go on and on without having to... I mean, I like showers. I always like showers. Showers just feel good to me. There's just something about that aqua uh, sensation. Um, I always like hot tubs. You know, people have been recently talking about the ice baths, you know, and how healthy they are. And I, I understand that. I agree how healthy that is. But I just don't do cold water like that. I mean, my body just goes into, like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I mean, blah, blah, I just want to, like, jump out of my skin <laughs> it freaks me out <laughs> so uh you know i'll stick to the uh you know what i do and and so that's why i say i'm going to create my own hot tub age urine hot tub and uh you know i look forward to that because the uh doing the soap baths is awesome it's so awesome i did it for the first time over the holidays there in odessa and uh, first one I did, I poured two gallons in there into the water, and it felt like silk. It was like uh, laying in a moisturizer bath. So, um, yeah, I dig the process. I dig it a lot. And so, um, yeah, life's good. Uh, life's really good. Um, I just, um, I'm stretching out, you know, a, a lot. And so starting tomorrow, I figured tomorrow is the... Uh, you know, when I'm going to start rewriting um, the whole book beginning to end. And, and now I'm excited about it. At first I was like, oh, man, you know, like I have to redo all this, you know. And there are ways I could uh, um, invest uh, to turn PDF into Word, um, you know, pay a uh, fee to Adobe or whoever and all that stuff. But I, after giving it careful consideration, I just figured uh, – no, it's all good. I, uh, it, it just, uh, like I said, I had an epiphany about it last night. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. And uh, so, um, anybody have any questions? Um, I see everybody saying hello and stuff. And <laughs> I'm happy you're here. I am, you know. Uh, that you uh, even think of uh, taking time out of your busy lives to uh, hang out. <laughs> with me on a Saturday morning is just uh, it's honorary and I appreciate you I do I love you all dearly so um, I did um, I pinned out a new poem I actually finished it two minutes before I uh, hit the live button <laughs> and uh, would you like me to share it with you because I will you know, if you'd like to hear it. <laughs> and I don't need anybody's permission. <laughs> uh, because I can. And I shall. I'm going to do that right now. And uh, I call this, I uh, entitled it, uh, Solutions uh, to Problems. We all face problems. Where can we turn? What is the solution in order to learn? There's no need to ignore them. What we resist will persist. Solutions to problems always exist. Directing our focus with patience you're seeing allows the solution to come into being. 
All questions we have that leave us confused are answered inside from the focus we choose. Just remain calm. Remember to breathe. Solutions appear and problems will leave. Trusting the process is the best thing to do. Inner awareness is the source to the clues. <laughs> there it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm working on, um, you know, a whole new level. That's why I said I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the book. I'm going to include every P poem uh, that I wrote and uh, call it good. Make one book out of the P poems and move on because, uh, I don't know, I think I'm done with P poems. <laughs> Maybe, maybe not. I never say never. You know, uh, shit happens, things change, things appear. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I I, um, I like what I'm writing these days. There's just a different uh, vibration uh, that I'm experiencing and having fun with. And so I'm just allowing that process to uh, be what it is because uh, so I roll. It's just what I do. So, um, did I tell you today how much I love you, you guys? <laughs> I don't think I did. I love you all so much. <laughs> and I so appreciate you just coming out and spending some time on a Saturday morning. This is awesome. So, um, again, if anybody has any uh, questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Otherwise, I'll just keep skipping and jumping <laughs> and playing because uh, what else is there to do? Um, you know, I always figured that, um, um, wow, somebody's calling from New York. Shall I answer? Shall I, do I dare? I have no idea. Let's see, just for the fun of it. Hello, how can I help you this morning? Hi, is this Casey? Uh, that would be me live and in person. And who's it? Who, who, who's this? This is Stacy with Page Publishing. Oh, hi, Stacy. I, you know, it, it, I'm, you know, I, uh, I'm right in the middle of a live show, and um, okay. yeah, and uh, here's the thing, Stacy. I've already, uh, I've already gone with Lulu Publishing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've already made the investment there, so, um, you know, I appreciate you. Congratulations. And, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I mean, in the future, if you want to talk again, just give us a call. No well, problem. Okay. I appreciate you calling me, Stacy, and uh, best wishes. You know, because you were my favorite out of all the, you know, out of the three publishers before I hit the uh, Lulu, you were my favorite. I, I really appreciate you. Oh, yeah. No problem. No problem. Enjoy your weekend. And, and again, congratulations on your book. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, you know, please note that you are live on my show right now. <laughs> so, oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> so you have a wonderful day, uh, Stacy. Thanks for the call. I appreciate you following up. Sure. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> it's funny how it works. On a Saturday, you know. Because uh, I did. I had uh, three different publishers that I'd talked to before I, um, you know, looked at Lulu. And I decided on Lulu because of other uh, friends who had uh, um, chosen Lulu. Um, allegedly, Dave had his book done with Lulu and Linda Maris and, you know, other people. And so, uh, and, uh, so I just made that decision and I've had a, um, so far, a good experience with them. Uh, and we'll see. You know, it's all a process. I don't know. You know, this is my very first uh, actual book in a publisher. Although I published self-published books before, not to this degree. I mean, I just went to Kinko <laughs> and created them, and uh, <clears throat> they were expensive to do like that. And so, uh, yeah. Uh, so the book's going to get completely remade. Um, I'm going to start that process tomorrow, and. Uh, you know, I'm not, uh, it's not a, dr a drudgery at this point. It, it, at first, my thoughts were, oh, God, you know, I'm going to do that, you know. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not a drudgery at all. I'm actually excited. And it'll contain um, 
every single uh, peephole I've written, which I don't even know how many there are. I think it's going to probably be about 150 or something at this point. We'll see. <laughs> and, uh, you know, with all that being said, you know, um, if you want to uh, be a part of the book, uh, you can, um, if you choose. I welcome you. Um, if you make a donation to my PayPal account, which is uh, paypal.me forward slash we do, uh, $25 will secure you a signed and numbered copy with um, my blessings and um, you'll be included in the book. You'll be in the acknowledgments as a loving uh, supporter. So there that is, you know, I welcome you. If you, if you choose, it's all good. Everything's good. <laughs> it's all a process. Now, um, let's see. Um, yeah, Michelle, uh, she's asking about, and I've had this question asked, uh, why the copper wire? Uh, that's a good question. Well, uh, cause I showed that in the video, uh, the other day. Now the purpose is, it's a perfect conductor. Now, one of the things that, um, uh, we have created, um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll not say we, Daniel created it, um, is that um, I forget the actual name for it, but it's like a cloud buster. You know, it, uh, it's to kind of break up uh, the um, chemtrails and the clouds or whatever overhead, and it actually is uh, pretty interesting. It's a series of uh, uh, copper tubes that are connected, and they're... Um, in a bucket uh, with uh, urine, and uh, it's also with a uh, wire that goes into the ground, so it's actually grounded. And um, what I showed in the video um, the other day, it does. We buried the uh, cable outside a uh, copper wire. It's buried in the ground. It comes up through the trailer, through the window, across the back, wraps around the uh, pyramid, which was made by Diana Avina, my dear friend, and. Uh, Leadwood, uh, Missouri. <clears throat> she makes these beautiful pyramids. And it was a gift from her, and I so value it. And <clears throat> so it coils around that. And then uh, we have this small jar uh, that is actually both uh, um, a combination of my pea and uh, Daniel's pea. It's kind of like our uh, love cup, I guess. And uh, then it goes in that and goes out of that, and then the wire continues, then goes, uh, you know, behind the couch, across the, uh, and over and up into my bed, and then it loops um, into uh, several, uh, not all. Um, I haven't uh, made, um, I mean, I, it's just a matter of me uh, doing a daisy chain, you know, if I go out and uh, get the wire and cut it all up and make folds and just kind of daisy chain, I'd have them all ground right now, which I, you know, at some point I probably will do. I just haven't gotten to that part yet. So, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I should put my PayPal for everyone in my description. I know. See, I, again, I, I realize these things. I, uh, um, and I don't know, I space things out like that. Um, you know, if, if, if I had a um, office administrator, <laughs> you know, a part of my posse, you know, to, uh, you know, check all those boxes and stuff, that would be awesome. But, uh, you know, it, it just, um, you know, I just put it in the universe. Uh, I just trust, you know, I, um, that's why I quit the um, monetizing of the channel is that to me, the message is the more important thing. Um, you know, I wasn't getting any real mono, money, uh, you know, it was just bullshit. And, um, you know, these goofy advertisers and stuff, it gets annoying. I mean, when I watch other uh, videos, you know, when I look at other people's and, you know, I just skip ad, skip ad, they become annoying. And I didn't want to continue that. I considered that, um, you know, my uh, subscribers or people who choose to watch the videos, uh, they don't need to see that crap. So I let it go. Why not? The universe takes care of everything. You know, what you think about, you bring about. This is the true secret of life. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, Denise, I'm grounding my brew. I am. Um, it's a healthy choice. And let's see how thick is the copper wire. Just kind of standard, like uh, right out of um, where we got the table. Uh, the copper wire was out of like um, Romex. Uh, type of wire, regular housing wire, and we just stripped off the um, uh, the sheath and uh, pulled the wire because there was a big uh, there was a bunch of wire here at the uh, at the property that uh, so Daniel just stripped all that stuff off and got all the wire out. So it's just kind of a I can't I can't tell you the gauge, but it comes from a, it's basically like a Romex um, size wire and. Yeah, it's just easier for someone to read it off the screen instead of trying to uh, remember what you said with the uh, PayPal. Yeah, I realize that. And, and uh, thank you. Uh, I will, um, I'll do the best I can. I, I, I actually have a description um, uh, page that um, has all that information on it. And... Um, I've been having trouble um, doing the copy and paste. I don't know why. These things, some of these things just elude me. Honestly, they do. You know, Daniel, um, you know, who has helped me tremendously, and uh, he uh, he's on a road trip. He's in upstate New York, been gone for, I don't know, um, 10 days or more, and I don't know when he's going to come back. But he's kind of, he's been my, uh, like, uh, tech whiz kid. He helped me create a whole bunch of things and taught me a whole bunch of things and and he showed me how to do it before and I um, I keep it, for whatever reason I do the copy paste try to you know put it in and it just doesn't appear uh, and I just go fuck it I don't I you know it, it's just like uh, some details are too much for me um, they just are I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm not an office administrator or a tech whiz kid. I'm not. You know, everything I know and learned on the computer, I never even worked on a computer until I went to film school. That's where I learned how to even turn on a computer. First, just simple. And what I learned there was all uh, digital filmmaking. And so I've learned certain programs. Um, I have a certain skill set. But honestly, I didn't even know how to cut and paste. I didn't. Daniel showed me that just, you know, not even a couple months ago. I didn't even, I didn't know how to cut and paste. You know, people that are computer savvy, I mean, good for you. Awesome. I applaud you. You know, I mean, I'm a two-finger two typer. I hunt and peck, you know, I'm an artist. <laughs> and so I just roll with what I know. You know, I don't beat myself up. I don't make myself crazy. I just don't go there. I just roll with what I know and put it out and uh, trust the universe. I do. I just trust the universe. I put in my order and leave it alone. And, uh, yeah, highlight it, then control C for copy, control for paste. Yes, I know how to do that now. I mean, that's how I move my poems. I, uh, I process the poems in Word, and after I save them in document and download, I go back, I uh, scroll it, I hit copy, paste, and then um, when I open up my uh, Facebook pages, I just, you know, left click, uh, it comes up, uh, paste, uh, you know, text as uh, whatever, and boom, there it is. So now I understand that stuff. But what I'm telling you is about, like, my description, which explains the steam it and the D-tube and, you know, all these other things. I, I, every time I uh, attempt to do that on the videos now, <clears throat> I don't know, something's missing. Um, you know, Daniel, Daniel just, blah, 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 you know, sleight of hand, like a three-card Monty kid, you know. And it's like, you know, I accept. I mean, you know, it's not like I'm uh, resistant to uh, learning. I, like I said, I've attempted it over and over with the last several videos. And, you know, he's just not here to give me that um, processing yet. 
he does it with effortless ease and I don't know I keep doing it and it's like I hit the copy I hit the paste and I hit the thing and it, it's, it's like why isn't it appearing why I don't know I just don't <laughs> I don't trip on it too hard um, yeah, yeah, Michelle, you can go. She's asking about getting the copper wire. You can just buy the uh, strip copper wire. You can uh, go to any hardware store and just get the uh, straight up uh, copper wire. Again, it's just a regular wire. It's like, um, you know, I don't know how many millimeters it is. Um, but they usually just, uh, you can get, you know, you can go through what we did, which is to, uh, um, by Romex, it's like household wiring. That's how you wire a house with is with Romex, you know. And you strip off the sheet, and it'll have a uh, uh, hot wire, a, um, a a negative wire, positive, negative, and ground. There's three wires in there usually, and they're all copper. Uh, they just go to different feeds. So it's up to you. But I think you can just buy uh, coil uh, copper, and uh, yeah. You put it right in the ground, it grounds it. <laughs> it's a very grounding experience. It is. And uh, so, uh, yeah, thank you, Carol. You know, I you know, I really do love you guys. You know, I, I just so do. I like engaging, uh, and I, I do spend as much time as I can uh, find uh, to uh, – you know, be an active person and uh, contribute uh, to the um, the groups and whatnot. And, you know, I just do the best I can. I'm a busy guy, you know, and that's not, uh, that's just what's so. And, you know, when, when I say uh, busy, um, that also means that, um, you know, I have the uh, option to do nothing is something I do which I like. I like to go walking. I went for a four-mile walk yesterday afternoon, came back, sat down Sundays for a half an hour. Now, is that doing something? Yeah, you know, walking and sun gazing, but it's just uh, chilling. And um, I like personal uh, time. I like time to pause and reflect, be in nature, breathe. Um, you know, because I spend a lot of time in front of computers. I do, you know. Sometimes I consider it, you know, like, man, dude, you know, pull yourself away from the computer. <laughs> You're going to burn your brain. <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, Denise, uh, she says, do you save your morning brew or only after that? No, um, what I do, uh, my first morning uh, pee, now like last night, I peed, um, four times uh, during the night, and I produced um, almost a half a gallon of pee. Now, I know better than to be looping in the middle of the night. I quit drinking late in the afternoon because it just, it, I'd never sleep. You know, it, it's just such an energizer. And so um, I, I usually drink my morning pee, whatever that is, um, you know, when I finally actually get up and out of bed. Like I said, I pee during the night. So uh, I keep a container and I pee in it and store it. And then after I uh, do my first pee, um, my second pee is where I wash my hair, my face, and my eyes, and my ears, and do my uh, drink through the nose and do all that process. And then after that, um, I'll usually do the next um, two or three loops. But even yesterday, now I'll tell you, I have uh, this um, telescopic uh, collapsible um, stainless steel cup that my friend Diana uh, gave me when I was visiting her. And uh, I showed that in my uh, wash day miracle, <laughs> how I go in and use it in the bathroom, drink my tea and all that. So I, I, I showed that uh, cup. But, you know, yesterday, now, I mean, this, this all, I, I, I had to go in, um, uh, I, I ran into Walmart to get uh, just a couple things. Uh, I need more avocados and bananas and stuff, and they're really cheap. 42 cents a piece for avocados, 44 cents a pound for bananas. Can't beat that. And I wanted to get my rubber gloves and the other gloves and 
Um, and I bought a big bag of golf balls uh, as well. So uh, I was on a mission there, but man, by the time I got there, and I'd already looped the, uh, yesterday morning, and I did it just before I left. Uh, the, so by the time I got there, I really had to pee. And so I went right into the bathroom, brought in my collapsible cup, drank that, did my shopping, and next stop I went to the dollar store because I wanted to, uh, I needed a uh, tiny screwdriver uh, with tiny head uh, to uh, change batteries in this uh, uh, certain flashlight. So um, by the time I came across the street, they're right across the street, this couldn't have been 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later maybe, and there I was standing in the uh, parking lot. Um, and it's very discreet. I open my door. I pull out my little uh, uh, telescopic cup. I pee in it, drink it, collapse it. I went and got the screwdriver. I still had another stop because they didn't have the gloves I wanted at Walmart. So I went to the Ace. By the time I got to the Ace, this is not 10 minutes, 15 minutes later. I'm standing in the parking lot, peeing in my cup again and drinking it. So when I, I, I do intermittent, uh, intermittent fasting, which means I only, uh, I, I generally, not always, most every day though, I only eat once a day and that's in the afternoon. So liquid just runs through me. I mean, it just as fast as I put it in, it just wants to come back out again. It just loops like crazy. So there's a certain point I just have to cut it off. I can't just keep doing this because I'll be peeing every 15, 20 minutes. It <laughs> gets a little busy. I got to pee right now. And I still got this cup in front of me. It's just like that. I'm a pee factory. I am. That's how I produce so much. And I don't even, I don't drink tons of water. I don't do all that stuff. My body is just like a natural pee factory. I am that little boy that pees in the fountain <laughs> continuously. And so, uh, yeah, I just roll with it. Yeah, it's simple. I just roll with it all. Um, I don't trip on it. Um, to me, peeing is just uh, effortless, and uh, I don't need to see my doctor about this. I don't have a prostate problem, <laughs> and I know it. <laughs> I've never been this healthy in my life. I feel better now than I've ever felt in my entire life, ever, 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 ever. I mean, I just feel awesome. My life's good. You know, it's really richly blessed, and urine therapy has uh, definitely been the gateway. It's the gateway to the greater being, the higher being, you know, the healthier being. You know, it cleaned up my uh, heart, my mind, my body. You know, it's cleaned up my skin. You know, I mean, all these things are just, uh, they're a miracle. And that's the beauty. Everybody has this miracle living inside of them. Everyone has the miracle, and and not just the pee. I mean, the solutions to all of our uh, challenges, our opportunities, our problems, whatever we focus on, it's all an inside job. Whatever you think about, you bring about. You know, so uh, pay attention to what you're thinking about. That's all. You know, stay cognizant. Don't sabotage yourself. There's no point. You know, love yourself, honor yourself, respect yourself, and uh, take care of yourself. You know, it's an equal opportunity. And I consider it a responsibility because I can't give what I haven't got. So I really take care of myself. I do. And I don't beat myself up. You know, I drink coffee. Yeah. So, you know, people go, well, I, you know, I drink and, you know, I'm, you know, I'm taking meds and I'm doing this. I smoke. and Yeah. And, you know, are you beating yourself up? Are you guilty? You know, are you, uh, you know, getting all this extra distress and duress um, because your mind let it go, you know? I mean, that's just compounding the problem. That doesn't solve anything. And the more you drink your pee, the more you'll realize that, um, you know, what you're doing might not be working. You might just want to change what you're doing and do something different. The pee is the perfect barometer. It is. Um, Okay, uh, so when you say that it's uh, really dilute, um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, um, it's all pee to me. I don't know what you mean by that, um, Denise. 
Um, and uh, like I said, I just uh, I, I just put my 28 gallon um, into my uh, uh, storage into my bed, um, and I have I'll have another gallon before the day's out. I did a half a gallon last night, and I just continue to fill the jugs. It's pretty amazing. You know, and that's just my body. Everybody's different. Everybody. Everybody. They're all different. Everybody operates. Uh, yeah, you have to ask why you have to listen. You need to listen to your own body. Trust your own instincts. Um, trust your own experience. I have a, um, a woman that's uh, brand new. Uh, she just started drinking her pee just a few days ago, and she contacted me. And uh, she joined the tribe. And... Um, you know, she was having heart palpitations, and it concerned her. You know, she, you know, and, uh, you know, I let her know that detox is a process and, uh, you know, how it, how our body reacts to uh, detoxing, uh, it varies. It's different for everybody. And, you know, so I told her, well, you know, um, just take baby steps if that's what's required. Just listen to your, listen to your body, you know, trust your experience. And so she posed the same question up on uh, the on the High Vibe Tribe page. And um, so I just left a comment. I said, um, you know, be patient, Carol. Um, people will answer, and they did. People started jumping in and um, giving their own uh, experience. And uh, a lot of people uh, felt the heart palpitations. Now, I never felt heart palpitations. That didn't happen for me. Just didn't. Um, my, my detox process was primarily bowel. That's where, um, you, know, you know, it wasn't coming out on my skin. It wasn't coming out in my eyes, you know, or my ears or, you know, it was, it was primarily bowels. Now, when I did the long fast, um, I withered down to 144 pounds. So I knew that I was detoxing a lot of uh, inorganic material. Uh, that was in my embedded uh, and leached, you know, on my organs, my uh, my muscles. I mean, my skin was just hanging on me. It was hanging. I look in the mirror and I go, you know, like these long. I mean, just sagging, flabby um, skin. And uh, you know, uh, <laughs> when I looked at myself, I thought, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but I understood. See, I knew I was in a detox process, so I didn't trip on it. I knew that it would uh, eventually restore it, you know, um, even my neck. I mean, look at how tight my neck is. My neck, it looked like a, like turkey jowls. I had all this, you know, I mean, just hanging uh, from my neck, but it's all restored. I, and... Um, you know, it's attributed to body rubs, yes, but uh, just drinking it will do it too. Like I said, I got my feet soaking right now in my rubber boots, <laughs> and it feels good. You know, I like it. So, um, let's see. Let's see if there's any more questions. Um, no, I don't see any more questions uh, at this point. And uh, so... Uh, I don't know. I don't think I have much more to um, say except, um, oh, I do. Um, I like to always uh, promote the Water Life Symposium. Um, that was an awesome experience for us, uh, us that uh, had the privilege of attending uh, last year in Sacramento. And it will be uh, this year in September, uh, 21st, 2nd, and 3rd in Las Vegas at the Westgate uh, resort. You can go to waterlifesymposium.com to register. It's only 35 bucks, which is a swinging deal. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's a great communion. It's a real, um, it's a real privilege uh, to connect with other pee drinkers in uh, physical form, not just on the uh, Facebook and the groups and all that, to really actually get in the presence of other uh, people and some of the most uh, fascinating and interesting and uh, intelligent. I mean, I met I met some really amazing people because of pee therapy. Truly amazing people, and I'm so grateful. 
And, uh, you know, here, I'll show you something. That's one of my shirts I made. Uh, I made three shirts all together. Or, uh, uh, let's see, four. This one says, my P is T. Some people read it and they go, my pissed. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> Makes them think. You know, I made that Pisses Bliss shirt, the High Vibe Tribe shirt, um, uh, Glow with the Flow, Recycle Your Orange shirt. And, oh, yeah, speaking of that, it was just yesterday a uh, new friend came in, and um, it was like he was, uh, you know, pretty much asking me uh, permission. Um, I said, yeah, cool, dude. He says, I want to translate, uh, you know, the uh, Pisses Bliss into Japanese and another one. And I said, cool, man. You know, and he even showed me what it, you know, uh, uh, the characters, uh, how it looks, and then he uh, also um, told me how to pronounce um, and translate uh, those words uh, in Japanese, which <laughs> I thought was very cool. And, uh, you know, whatever it takes to spread the message, spread it. You know, it's, to me, uh, it's, this is what my life looks like. I spread the message all around. I just, I love it. I love, to, I, I just love introducing um people to themselves and that's all I do I just introduce people to themselves let them realize that they've got everything they need uh, to improve their lives in a profound way that they never quite imagined before and P is one of them but a lot of people have just never really understood that they've got other powers you know uh, that they are really truly connected to a universal mind and uh, you know, the more you become conscious of that and uh, cognizant and consider what you're thinking about, you can turn your life around. You know, everybody's got the same tools. It's just how we use them. You know, that's uh, that's how it rolls. So, um, again, I love you all so dearly, and, and I appreciate you spending time with me on this uh, Saturday morning. <laughs> I hope it was fun for you. It's certainly fun for me as always and um, so I wish you uh, a beautiful wonderful marvelous day um, make the best of it it's your world enjoy it and uh, boom ha you just been loved ha ha bye now <laughs>